Hi, my name is Garrick and I'm here with Zero-G to give you a very quick tutorial on how to install Contact Libraries into your version of Contact 5. Now, what we need for this is obviously your copy of Contact. Uh, I'd recommend always updating to the latest version so that you're able to use all the latest libraries that come out. Um, you will also need Native Access, the uh, latest Native Instruments Hub uh, that you will download all of your software and your contact libraries from uh, if you're working with native libraries. And it's also where you'll add third-party contact libraries to for you to then use in contact. Now, on the screen here, I have downloaded Phaedra through the Zero-G Connect installer. Um, and I've unpacked it into the contact instruments folder on my external hard drive. What I'm now going to do is add it to my copy of contact 5 here that I've got open. Uh, now you can see we're in the libraries tab here. And what I'm going to do is click Manage Libraries. Now that will bring up Native Access. Uh, if you haven't got Native Access installed, it won't bring it up. You do need to install it first. What it'll do is make sure that everything's up to date and it's all kept, all your serial codes, all your software is kept in one neat place. So really recommend download Native Access. It is gonna be everything that Native use to, uh, to keep all their software in one place in the future. Uh, right, now I want to add Phaedra to my Native, uh, Native Instruments account. I'm going to add a serial uh, in the top left of the Native Access window here. Uh, and I'm going to copy the download code, which is also my serial code for Zero-G products, into the Add a Serial. Copy it in there. I'm now going to press Add Serial. Okay, so what it's done is uh, verify that the serial is correct and it's all great. Uh, what we need to do now is show where the unzipped Phaedra files are. Now it's pointing to me towards volume slash sound, sound storage slash native instruments slash shared. This isn't where I've put my Phaedra folder. I've put it into my contact instruments folder on my sound storage drive. So I'm going to click browse. And I'm just going to point it towards where it's located. So we're going to go to sound storage, contact instruments, and I'm just going to click the uh, mother folder of Phaedra. And I'm just going to press open. Okay, that should point it in the right direction. I'm just going to click install now, and it should be good to go. There we go, Phaedra's successfully installed. Now, if I pop over to contact, you can see it in the bottom there, Phaedra, and I'm just going to open a synth. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, remember to give us a like down below, leave a comment uh, if you have any questions, uh, and remember to subscribe to us. We're going to be doing more tutorials from now on, more tips and tricks, and discussing how we can make our music better going forwards. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.